day, March 17th. We are still under lockdown. Things are open. You can get things if you have to. There's a baking open. Pharmacy is open. I'm gonna go see if I can buy some goods. This morning, I was out here. The police were out here. And they were, I guess they were kind of blocking off to see what's happening up. There's a market there. So as of now, they're not lined up. No one's lined up. This year is normally jam-packed behind me. This is normally open. It's a cafe. It's normally jam-packed and there's nobody there. It's uh, completely closed right now. So this bakery down at the end is open and this supermarket is open here. So these are both open. So we have this supermarket open behind me and we have this bakery open and they had a lot of fresh bread this morning. So that was very good. I was able to get some fresh bread and that's very good. You see a man here, he's waiting outside to get some bread. Now people are lining up and they're letting them go in one at a time into this bakery. Bakery is open and they're just, uh, just lining up. So it is open and that's good. It's a little windy today. I have my shopping bag. And so I'm gonna head over here to Mercadona and this is a big grocery store here. So I have to do this a little bit, a little bit hidden the way I'm filming now because I don't know if you're supposed to be doing that. And I did want to mention right now what's going on. There's another market here. Uh, as of right now, they're closing all the borders for 30 days throughout Europe. All the borders will be closed for 30 days. So that's the, the newest word right now. Um, Spain is in a lockdown for 15 days. 15 days in a lockdown all of Spain so you can go out only to buy and things like that and to go to the pharmacy and to go to church so only things that you must have um, Emmanuel Macron the president of France he came out yesterday and he said we are at war we are at war with the silent enemy so I have to agree with him so that was one of the most profound things that I've heard so let's go over here and I'm gonna go try to get to Mercadona and I'm gonna see see how that looks i'm gonna cross the bridge so the market behind my house is open and uh, they're selling some things here some fruit some vegetables so i'm gonna able to get that so that's pretty cool and this is the guy that i normally go to is antonio and he gives me the fresh fruit and vegetables that i like so i'm gonna go ahead and get some of that so that's that's pretty good so even though we're in a lockdown situation there's no one panicking and that's pretty good so hopefully everyone stays calm and and this virus will soon pass. This is Antonio. I always buy the fruits and vegetables from him. He gives me a good deal. He has all kind of fresh stuff. So if people are, are lining up, they're buying. And he's still open, so that's good. I got some, some good things. I got some bananas, some sweet potatoes, and some things like that. So, gracias, Antonio. <laughs> That's a good guy. He's a good guy, Antonio. I like him. So you see some of the people have masks on, but they're they're buying. So the police just came through here and they were yelling at some people. They said if you're not buying, you have to you have to leave. So some of the people were just coming and talking. So you can't do that right now. So I got some fruits and some vegetables. So I'm okay there. So that's good. So you can still go out and buy, which is good. So even in a quarantine, you can do that. But uh, you have to be moving along. They don't want you just standing around talking. It makes sense. So there's a man there walking his dog and I'm gonna head over to Mercadona. Now the, the woman there that was buying with her daughter, she said that the shelves were, were empty. So that would be interesting. I don't know if I can get in there. Maybe take a look. And we do have some people walking. They have a bus run in there, so people must still have to get to work. I thought all the buses would be shut down, but there's a bus running. So behind me, this Mercadona is open. I see the people in there getting things. And there's a woman there asking for money like normal. So it's kind of a shame there, but that is what's going on. So that's a report from here. Uh, I have a few things, so I don't know if I can go in there with my bag, but that's the situation here from Spain. That's what's happening. Okay, so bars and restaurants are closed, businesses, but I don't see any reason to panic. Uh, there's, I just showed you there are several grocery stores. They're all open. They're all very close to where I live. 
the small market next to where I live, across the street almost, Kitty Corner, it's open. Um, not all the stalls were open, but quite a few. My, my friend Antonio, where I buy the, the vegetables and the fruits from, he's still selling. He still has good products, so I was able to get some of those. And this morning there's a, like I said, there's a bakery and they're open. And I got some fresh bread, so I'll probably have better bread than you guys have. Certainly than you're buying at Costco that you're all buying up now. So don't panic. That's my advice to people. Don't panic. Stay calm and live, the, live your lives. And a virus is a virus. It's not going to... There's worse enemies out there, believe me. It's unseen if you do have a health condition, okay. You have to be careful. But for the normal person, I wouldn't be so worried. And... You know, Spain is the epicenter almost of the world now. It's one of the hot spots beside Italy. And people are pretty much going about living their lives. They're not panicking. And that's the way it should be. So, and if you get a chance to help your fellow man, please help them out if someone needs anything. And like I said, that panic buying, that serves no one. Going out there and buying all kinds of things uh, to last you through the apocalypse, I don't understand that. So. Stay calm, people, and we'll get through this together. Okay, hi, everybody. Back in my apartment, and let's take a look what I was able to get today. Um, I was able to get some nice, fresh bread, which I was starting to freeze some here, and I ate some already. So this is nice, all fresh. I was able to get some of these sweet potatoes, which are uh, roasted, which I like. They, they do them like that. They're really, really good, and they're healthy. And I was able to get some fresh avocados and some bananas. So that's pretty good. I was able to get all that today. So, and I'm inside a quarantine zone. So don't panic, live your lives, and hopefully that they will keep the supply chain running wherever you are. But uh, where I'm at, I'm in good condition. We don't have a lot of cases of the virus, so that's good. So 15 days, hopefully this will pass over. I talked to Antonio, he thinks it could be longer. So. That's fine, but I can always go visit Antonio. I can go to the market. I can chat with him a little bit. So he's a great guy, and that's a great place to buy. So if you're ever in Malaga, I'd recommend you go to that market there. That's called Salamanca Market, and it's a little smaller than the uh, Terrasanas, but it's really, really nice market, and that guy Antonio is a really great guy, so I would recommend going to him, and he gives me the best quality. And if he, he told me if I ever get anything bad, go back to him, and he'll give me another one. So he's a great guy. So stay safe, safe wherever you're at. And best of luck to everyone in this trying times. And hold those that are close to you very dear in these times as well.